There was moments in my life, like I'll even tell you, my dad, we're at Sherman Oaks Burger King. So I'm sitting there and all of a sudden, you will not believe who's sitting there having lunch with his wife. The one and only legendary Mr. Baywatch, David Hassel. <laughs> hey, here's, I lose my mind. I said, dad, dad, look who that is. That, that's David Hasselhoff. I'm gonna go shake his hand and get an autograph. Look at my dad. My dad at the time, modest, cashier at a 99 cent store in Inglewood next to Great Wood. There is nothing we can brag about. We've never lived in a house. To the Persian people who know cars, we drove a Xi'an in Iran. That's like a Pinto on steroids. It's absolutely the worst car you know you can have. We didn't have a lot of money. And my dad sits me down and he says, you're gonna go ask that grown man for his autograph? He needs to come ask ask you for an autograph. I said, Dad, you're crazy. You're out of your mind. But again, the, the thing he was shaping in a mindset is act like you belong. Stop yes. thinking the people. So these subtle little references that a mentor, a father in your life that puts, and then the insecurities of always thinking someone's on attack to hit you or take you or kill you. That's a very, very advantageous edge in the world of business. If you build your business as if someone's always trying to put you out of business, you're going to be prepared. You're not going to be arrogant cocky millionaire, you got money and not realizing that others want your spot. It's a very competitive climate. So some of it, yes, could have definitely uh, uh, taken me a different direction, but luckily, and with some good counsel and making the right direction decisions, life kind of ended up working out for me. Subscribe to RJ's Antics for loads more.